So, it is no secret that the Swarm had probably one of the best marketing campaigns Thought Park had ever put together for a coaster. Uh, we saw things like billboards go up, actors roaming around, and they even blew up a fire engine. <laughs> However, with the success of the marketing campaign for the Swarm, uh, Thor Park actually began looking to the future, and it actually detailed a brand new 2013 attraction uh, that would obviously open uh, following the Swarm. Now, in today's video, that is pretty much what I'm going to be diving into, what this ride could have been, uh, how it could have worked, uh, and why it potentially got scrapped. So if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, make sure you like, subscribe, anything that makes me know you guys like my content. Uh, obviously, we we're very, very close to hitting 700 subs, so it'd be very, very appreciative uh, if you did help contribute to us getting to that goal. So, with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. To get a good idea of what this attraction actually could have been, we need to go back to where it actually originated. Now, ages ago, uh, someone went into the Thought Park archives. Obviously, these are things that exist, so you can pull out different information from there. And they found a portfolio full of pictures and information uh, all about the Swarm's marketing. And in, within this picture, uh, you also saw a labelled 2013 attraction with this picture. Now, obviously, it's very, very odd. You've got like these alien-like creatures uh, in these kind of tube things. Uh, now, obviously, for this, we don't really have a lot to go off of. Uh, we literally just have a picture and a date and a potential attraction. Uh, so yeah, it's very, very vague. However, I tried to kind of put together uh, with different kind of things that have happened in the past, what this could have looked like. Now, I'm taking a little bit of inspiration uh, from some other attractions that have obviously been uh, kind of created around the resort. Obviously, we have saw the ride. We saw the initial attraction in 2009 and in 2010, we obviously saw a follow-up attraction known as Saw Alive, which later obviously became a Fright Nights maze for many, many years. Now, could we actually have potentially seen a very similar thing here? Now, obviously, we have the flagship attraction, or in this case, the flagship coaster, uh, and obviously, the year following that, could we have then seen a scare maze type attraction, a uh, walkthrough type attraction, theme to the swarm's origins or something like that. Uh, now obviously there's been a lot of debate on where this could have actually gone. Uh, obviously if this is kind of a walk for attraction, obviously we could have liked Saw Alive actually seen it be on a boat, but obviously the difference between that is obviously Saw Alive obviously was built on a pre-existing boat. Uh, it was the Thought Pair uh, it was the Thought Bell. So obviously it wouldn't really work in the fact that they'd have to make a whole new boat just for this thing. However, I do have a couple of ideas where it could have potentially gone. Now, the first potential location on actual Swarm Island itself is actually just where Sanctum was in, obviously, the 2017 Fright Nights, obviously, when Walking Dead came in. Uh, just as you walked into Swarm Island, obviously, there was kind of like a little back kind of alley just next to the toilets uh, that obviously led up into a large kind of storage area. Potentially, could we have seen uh, the show building go there? Uh, obviously, there's li literally not too many places it could have gone. Like I said, we could have seen it in the spot of the marquee. That could have easily happened. Uh, there are loads of different spots. I don't really want to dwindle on the location particularly obviously because we want to know what this attraction could have potentially been like and what kind of stories it could have explored. Okay, so in terms of potential story directions, Thought Park could have gone down many, many different routes. And differently to Sort Alive, obviously they aren't restricted to a certain IP. Uh, so obviously with Sort Alive, they kind of had to follow what Lionsgate were telling them to do, uh, and obviously implement scenes from the actual films. However, with Swarm, it isn't a completely new IP, uh, and it's obviously owned by Thought Park. So they could have been, you know, anywhere with this. They could have easily had it as like an origin story. Uh, it could be a sequel. Uh, and it's kind of hard to judge which of these it would be. Uh, however, the one thing that I could take away from this kind of picture, and I know things do change throughout development, so that's not really concrete uh, on whether or not that would have been something from the attraction. However, this to me looks like it could be the origins of the swarm. Now, obviously, there are many different debates on how it's actually come to be. And a lot of people have been saying that it could have been a nuclear experiment or, or some kind of military experiment that went wrong. And that could potentially be seen what we've seen in the photo. These kind of, you know, creatures that maybe the government hold in uh, that eventually do break out. And that could be the phenomenon of the ride and kind of maybe even lead straight into the swarm and it would be kind of a theatrical experience when you enter the island at least that's what I can pull from it uh, myself but however on the contrary we could also have this as a sequel uh, this could take place after the swarm events uh, and this could be the kind of like cleanup crew uh, like kind of the government have gotten hold of the aliens or whatever they are because it's pretty vague on where the swarm actually came from like you know and something like this would have explained that potentially a little bit better but could we have seen these creatures captured 
conclusion is kind of studying them a similar storyline to Nemesis Subterra where we're invited to see these kind of uh, alien creatures uh, and then obviously it all goes wrong and it ends up being a little bit of a scramble and that's pretty much what I can piece together from this uh, like I said there's not really too much information to pull from it uh, it's literally mainly just this photo and obviously uh, the date it was originally supposed to be releasing now obviously in terms of why this actually got scrapped in the first place there are many many different reasons the first one could be for budgetary reasons obviously financially the swarm didn't do as good as thought part were expecting obviously it's a well resound ride at the moment uh, back then people were kind of a little bit underwhelmed uh, with the way they'd gone for it a lot of people were thinking of a really big thrill attraction and obviously those of you that have obviously ridden the swarm will know that it's more of a docile kind of um free experience and there are some really intense sections especially when you're going around the obviously helicopter uh, however obviously it wasn't really what people expected it to be and obviously with that happening could Thought Park have dropped this project because they didn't make enough money and the money they obviously over uh, you know would have gained could have actually been going towards this attraction however that didn't eventually end up happening and it kind of you know meant that they had to cut the ties. Now, one big question is actually on people's minds is would an attraction like this ever actually happen? And potentially Thought Park could have been holding off to make a more large scale attraction or ride out of this rather than rushing it and trying to make it like this really kind of cheap walkthrough attraction. Now, obviously, this seems very unlikely. Seems as obviously it's been over like seven years since that. Uh, so if that was to be done, it probably would have been done by now. But this does not mean that Thought Park can't bring this idea back in some way, shape or form. Now, earlier I did mention Subterra. Potentially, could we have seen, uh, you know, a very similar style ride to Subterra, obviously the drop tower, uh, but with the swarm, that could have been really cool. Uh, we could have seen a shooter ride, like you were there to hunt the aliens, or the remaining aliens, and then that was kind of a shooter ride. Uh, and it would kind of upscale, like, because pretty much, Thought Park is the only Merlin attraction without uh, some form of a shooter ride. Legoland's got two. Uh, Chessington's obviously got Tomb Blaster and Alton Tower's got a jewel and Thought Park is kind of left with nothing uh, so if they kind of added this kind of thrill uh, obviously shooter ride maybe you know kind of aligned more towards teens uh, with the kind of like maybe like military grade weaponry that you're hunting these aliens could have been really really cool there are many different directions they could go with it uh, obviously but it just doesn't seem like it's going to be anymore it seems like it's something of the past and it's just kind of a bit forgotten Okay then, so that is pretty much all I have to say on this matter. Like I said, there's not really too much information. However, I do have more uh, ideas for a potential series on this, like, you know, talking about scrapped attractions or kind of uh, different things within theme parks. Uh, I'm actually thinking of potentially doing one on the obviously lost concepts of the Thought Park Hotel, which was meant to be a large-scale hotel, obviously. It was supposed to be really grand and big. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it now because I'll save it for the video. But if you do enjoy it, definitely let me know because because I'll work on them a little bit more. So, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.